Good morning, good afternoon, good evening mga ka-Arky. So, hello Marion, kamusta? Hello, hello mga ka-Arky. Hello ka-Arky mm-hmm. Adriel, na-miss ka namin. Maayos naman ako. Oh, wow. Ito. So, for today's video guys, we're going to discuss why you should not be too focused on investing, but you should be doing this instead. No? Care of our good friend, Fred, or <laughs> actually hindi. But I saw this article from The Woke Salaryman, kung alam nyo to. So shout out to The Woke Salaryman, hello. So, taga Singapore sila. And they're actually financial gurus there. I'm not sure kung registered financial planners or Actually, in their terms, certified financial planners, but their FB page, Instagram page, give actually very sound financial advice. So, so this is the work salary man's page. So they're actually mainly for finance, and they actually give um, generic tips, no, about investing, um, insurance, budgeting, etc. So many personal finance. Um, even if it's Singaporean audience. But we can actually pick up something here that is actually applicable to our situation here in the Philippines. So, so their topic is about um, bakit obsessed yung mga young people with investing and then bakit hindi sila dapat uh, masyadong obsessed with investing. And they actually presented good points because um, this is also based maybe in their personal experience or what they went through. So, sabi ni Woke Salaryman, yung goal kasi niya dati is to make $100,000 or at least reach there annually. And then, nahirapan siya and of course, it took him a lot of time to reach $10,000. So, in Philippine pesos, mga ilan yan? $500,000. $500,000, $400,000. Or $600,000. Yeah, <laughs> Ay, kung Singapore dollar, uh, forty nga. <laughs> yeah, around that point. So, Yung expectation niya kasi was 10 times, no? And then, dito nangyari, and then, of course, he got disappointed. So, dito nang pinapakita niya, no? Yung investing journey niya na, oh, ito yung expectation ko, kailangan kong mag-ipon ng 15 or 20 or 10. Tapos hindi ko na-reach yung goal, kailangan ko pa ba mag-invest? Yun. Yung mga tanong natin, di ba? Nakikita natin minsan sa comments, kahit kailangan safe ba tong investment dito ba to and then um so he tried the stock market but it only grew one two so di ba minsan nakikita natin to in real life na uy sabi dito four percent five percent bakit nag short di ba and then ito yung mga takeaways niya so first kailangan natin malaman ano ba yung reasonable returns no ng stock market, which is actually a good point. No? Every time we invest, ano ba yung expected return ng mga stock portfolios natin? Is it 2? Is it 3? Is it 4? Is it 10? Is it 15 or 20? Diba? Because it's up and down yan eh. Hindi naman siya consistent na linear path na pataas na pataas. Minsan, pababa siya or bulundundukin yung movement niya. No? And then, hindi naman dapat natin na-expect na yung capital natin um, from, let's say, 100, magiging 110 next year, tapos the following year, 121 na. No. So, actually, nag-explain pa nga siya eh, na yung kay Warren Buffett, yung annual average return niya, 20% lang. Tapos for us, because we're only the average person, mga 5 to 8 lang. Tapos of course, yung industry professionals, these are your um, fund managers, your um, investment bankers, or whatnot. Mostly, they would average mga 30% over the long term. And of course, this is like 10 year basis. Now. And of course, we're not sure on the yield. So take this as with a grain of salt, na, mga karaki, kung ano yung mga average returns. Mm-hmm. And of course, um, again, it's just um, again summarizing the lessons. And then, investing no um at the start would be very difficult because again 
lit na naman ng capital natin eh. And of course, investment is also a function of our capital. Hindi lang yung returns. So of course, when your capital is small, mababa din yung returns natin. And we all know, tama naman siya, we all don't start off with million dollars or like say mga billions of pesos na in life. So ano yung alternative niya? So yung alternative niya is to increase yung um, earning power natin so that we can um, invest more. So the more income we have, the higher the investment returns because we're able to put in more in our investments. So once we've, you know, ito yung summary niya. So once you improve your income or the more capital that we have, of course, yung investment returns natin, tataas mo. And then, he encourages us to do this long term because hindi naman to overnight. And then, yun. Yun lang yung summary. So, I'll start with yung first takeaway, which is actually this. So, forget about getting rich quickly via investing. No? Um, this is actually a good point because Again here, medyo obsessed kasi tayo sa mga returns eh. Should we go 5%? Should we go 10%? Should we go 20%? My advice here is that um, investing is a long marathon. Hindi siya overnight. And the fact that um, naghanap tayo ng malaking returns would mean that we'd be taking shortcuts, would be... Um, like, baka ma-fall tayo to mga Ponzi schemes, mga pyramid schemes that would instead um, make us broke or maset us back tayo no, sa investing natin. Even if um, gusto natin mag-improve. No? So, mm-hmm. so, ikaw mo yun, ito, second tip is investing early with realistic expectations. Oo, so lagi natin sinasabi sa ating mga ka uh, di ba, uh, Adriel, yung sa bawat investment strategy, eh, dapat naka-align ito no? sa ating mm-hmm. goal at sa investment yes. horizon. Ayan. So mga ka lalo na napakaraming mga videos at articles ngayon, uh, do your due diligence, lagi nating sinasabi, di ba? Uh, yung mga nagpa-promise ng matataas na return, o bigla nakabili sila ng BMW, nagkaroon ng malaking bahay, Though we, we're not saying it's wrong, pero ilalagay rin natin ito sa personal disposition natin. Kaya di ba, uh, Adriel, bilang mga financial planners, ginagawa natin muna is tinitingnan natin yung cash flow ng ating mga clients, di ba? Um, kaya ba nila na mag-set aside ng ganitong amount na i-invest sa ganitong product or products para ma-achieve yung ganitong goal, di ba? Um, gusto man natin, no, mga ka yes. na manood lang tayo ng video, alam na natin yung gagawin natin, hindi ganun kadali. Kasi mm-hmm. iba-iba po tayo ng sitwasyon, iba-iba po tayo ng mga goals. Pero sabi yes. nga dito, sabi nga ni The Woke uh, Salaryman, invest early. Simulan natin ng mas maaga. Kaya diba, uh, Adrian, nakakatuwa kapag yes. meron tayong mga lumalapit, nagpapakonsult na bata pa. Diba? Kasi... They want to uh, get started the right way and to get started early. Mm-hmm. Tama ba? Yes. If you can start early, start as early as you can. Yun. Because minsan kasi yung iba na start na 30 or 40. But inisip kasi na it's too late. I would like to let you know na it's not too late. Because we can leverage with your income. It is actually your third point. No? Um working on your earning power. There is actually uh, a very good point. I think this is also something Surfits no, also has been um, encouraging people is to work on our earning power because um, hindi naman pwede na nag invest tayo tapos 20,000 lang every month. Uh, as much as possible, we also increase it. No? So that would mean learning new skills, um, so that we can start new side hustles or maybe start a new business or baka second job or part-time job, no? So that we can um, earn more money and then probably use that money to invest or diversify yung uh, investments natin. And that way, we would be able to reach yung goals faster, no? And yeah, eventually reach that uh, financial goal that you want or maybe retire early depending on your financial goal. No? 
Ikaw, Maria, what do you think? Di ba related Oo. lang din sa team? <laughs> Oo. At uh, ano, no? Um, I think ang major takeaway ko naman dito sa article na ito mm-hmm. ay uh, yun nga mga ka-arky eh. Uh, we're always focusing on investing. Okay naman yun. Pero mm-hmm. ang kailangan mo kasi para mag-invest ay pera. Saan mo ngayon kukunin yung pera mo? Ngayon, uh, marami po tayong naging clients, kami ni Adriel, na mm-hmm. halos saktuhan lang eh yung kanilang income sa expenses. So, income minus expenses equals savings. Eh. Yung savings kasi yung magdadala sa'yo towards investing. Yun ang gagamitin mo para makapag-invest. Ngayon, kung maliit lang, manipis lang yung, yung savings, manipis lang, konti lang yung magagamit mo pang invest para sa mga goals mo. At uh, gustuhin mo man mag-invest sa iba't ibang produkto, feeder funds, equities, balance fund, ganyan. Kung konti naman yung pera mo, di ba wala rin? Kaya mm-hmm. ano, um, dito papasok yung work on your earning power. Uh, madaling sabihin, oo, uh, pero ito talaga eh, uh, kailangan mo nga ng pera. Taasan pa yung income mo or bawasan yung expenses mo. Ngayon, mm-hmm. sa tunay na buhay naman, nagko-contribute tayo sa ating bahay, tumutulong tayo sa mga kamag-anak, kaya baka mahirap na i-adjust ng expenses. So, ang isang mm-hmm. paraan is to increase your income by finding other income streams. Uh, mm-hmm. Tayo po dito, uh, mga ka-Arky, um, kaming mga member ng Wealth Arky team, hindi lang naman isa ang aming income stream. So, mm-hmm. I think maputing halimbawa na rin tayo sa ating mga ka-Arky na kaya naman sa loob ng isang araw makagawa ka ng isa, dalawa o tatlong side hustles di ba aside from your uh, main source of income Ayan. kailangan lang maging creative at i think yes. may isa pang slide dito to show na use your network yeah uh, i think yung last slide is use your yes. network use your uh, network use your skills at all i think ito yung last point niya um, network is your friend so yun. ano pala ano? Ano pala, no? hindi pala agad, minsan hindi agad investing talaga ang dapat unahin. So, develop mo na yung uh, passion, yung network, di ba? Uh, yung cash flow bago simulan yung investing. And uh, I think for introverts or extroverts, lahat naman tayo may interest or passion, di ba? So, maganda eh, mahanap mo yun at baka yun ang starting point mo as a side hustle, di ba? Aside from your day job, di ba? Yeah. So, just to um, close as a final point or to add to what you said, uh, not necessarily what you're passionate about. I mean, minsan, yung passionate about natin, yun yung nagbibigay ng pahinga sa atin. Eh. So, yung next best thing na lang. <laughs> yung second best thing na pwedeng um, mong gawin to um, gawin ng side hustle na kung ayaw mo yung uh, main passion so yun actually that's all for this video no marian um, anything you want to say to our viewers before we end <laughs> oh so mga kaarki sana nagustuhan niyo yung article na binahagi ni kaarki adriel sa atin no at uh, kapag kayo may katanungan not just for investing baka kailangan niyo pa ng tips or advice pagdating sa paghahanap ng side hustle maari niyo kaming i-email sa admin at wealtarchy.com so again, hindi lang tayo puro investing, yung mga ibang bagay din na related sa personal finance para matulungan namin kayo na makapag budget or prepare properly, you can email us at admin at wealtarchy.com. Yun lang sa akin, until sa susunod na mga video mga ka-Arky. Yun, so thank you uh, mga ka for listening to us. Thank you to Wok Salerman, hello again, shout out here. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. And see you in the next video, video Mario. Bye-bye, guys. Ingat. See you.